Hello guys, today let's make a simple effect in Niagara. Actually, I don't know what it is. Maybe a nano creature. Okay, let's start it. First, let's create a Niagara system and we need an emitter as the leader, which will control the track of the particles. Okay, let's rename it. And add a spawn burst. We only need one particle. And the kill particles is false because we want it to always be in the level. Then add a curl noise force. Make the particle move. Okay, noise strength is 500 and the frequency is 25. Also, we use pan noise field. And the left cycle is once. Okay, it moves around the level. But using only curl knot force, the particle will gradually fly away. We need to make it move randomly near the initial position. So let's add a point attraction force. It can make particle move to the point of attraction. Radius is 100,000. And strength is 5. Now we can see that the particle move randomly around the initial position. Then we begin to create the body. Add the spawn particles from other emitter. In this way we can get the position and other information from the particle in the leader emitter. Emitter name is leader. Okay, we can see that the particles in the body emitter will follow the particle in the leader. And add a mesh render. We use the cube in the engine content. Okay, first we need to change mesh size. Then uniform and x axis is 0.3 okay this is more in line with the body's structure okay then let's set their orientation so that they face the forward direction okay orient to vector and we need to normalize vector because we use velocity as the vector Okay, there is no velocity here. I think it's because we didn't output it. Okay, output only. Set sampled velocity to vector. Oh yes, we need to create a particle vector. And set this vector in particle spawn. Use sampled velocity. And in orientation, we use particle vector. Okay, it's oriented in the direction the particle is heading. Then let's add a mesh rotation. Also, we use update mesh orientation. Just change rotation rate to 0.5. Okay, now let's change the spawn rate to 50. Yes, it looks better. We can use curve to control its size. Vector from float and use a curve to control it. 0 to 1 to 0. Yes, this is the shape we want. And the leader sprite, we just set sprit size to zero. Okay. Okay, let's make it bigger. Scale curl is two. We can also change key data. For example, zero point two. Now we can see its head will be larger. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.